Hi everybody, today we've got a review. I've got this giant box on my desk, so I'm going to unbox it, get things out and I'll be back because obviously you can't see anything and I have no room to work. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so there's two things to go over. There's a lamp, which I'm going to put to the side just now, and there's also this pack full of stuff that comes with it. So. I'm going to empty all this out and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so in this wee kit, we've got a dusty brush. It's very pretty. Oh, and it's very soft. So I, I would use that after I've filed to just get rid of all the, the particles. There is this one I would use for your prep. Do you know, after you've pushed your cuticles back and like then your whatever nipping you need, give it a wee scrub with alcohol just before you start doing your nails. Um, so that's handy. I've got this one, which is it is quite big, so it doesn't really target one particular nail. So I suppose this would be a good one for that, just to get in about all the the nooks and crannies. Um, this I really want to get this out because this looks really interesting to me. Um. Look how, I don't know if you'll see, but look how thin that is to scrape your cuticles. And this edge is the same. You can see it's like a, a blade-like side to it. It's not sharp wood that's going to cut you, but it's so thin. For I don't usually have a lot of cuticle anymore. But let's see. Okay, so this cuticle pusher wants to dispute that. So there you go. So that's what I would use this for, is like getting it off. Once you loosen it with the pusher, scrape it all off as much as you can with this. But remember to be gentle. I mean, don't poke down at your epinachium or you're going to, you're going to cut yourself and it'll hurt. And then after you've done that, that's when you give it a wee rub your, your brush, spray it with alcohol and you're prepped and ready. So this, I, I really like this. I wonder if I've got any on any other nails. Just shows you I mean granted it's not a lot but as I say these days I don't seem to be getting a lot of cuticle. I don't know if it's because I'm oiling more or, or what. Just, well, I'm here, we'll remind you, oil at least twice a day. Yeah, I really like that pusher. That'll be going into my, my stack. <coughs> These. Um, I know they're handy with tools and I've seen them used, but I don't use them much because I'm kind of scared of them. I, I don't know properly how to use it, so I've always been a bit wary. I know you, you catch the cuticle. Oh. Okay, there was nothing to be scared of there. It didn't actually do anything bad. It just took a wee bit of skin off that was hanging up. Do you see it? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I'm not sure I would use this because, as I say, I don't know how to use it properly. But it's a handy thing to have if you don't have, like, a set of nippers. And obviously we've got um, nail clippers. Oh, they feel nice. Do you know when you get a set of nail clippers and you press them and it's just like, th there's no resistance. So it, it's like there's no press to it. It just wobbles around. I don't like those. This has got resistance. And they're a nice size as well. And I like the ones that are curved. Um, do you know to follow the shape of your, your nail? Yeah, so that that's an added bonus. I've got some files. This is a sponge buffer, it's 603,000. Uh, where is the opening for this? There it is. Oh, that feels so nice. I love the softness of a buffing file. Um, yeah, so I'd maybe use this side to like scratch up the nail before you put your gel polish on so that you're not doing any damage. 
but um, it, it's enough to scratch up and then this at the end just to smooth over once you've done whatever it be your gel or your acrylic or whatever but I think it would work better with gel because it's it's such a fine grit file so that's good I'll definitely be using that this is also a sponge one and I'm not going to take this out because I've actually got one in rotation at the moment so I'm going to leave that in there so that it's fresh ready to use when I need it but these are brilliant I absolutely love these files they're my favourite files to use this kind of shape love them we've got toe separators now for anybody that paints their toenails you'll know how much these are needed trying to paint your toenails without a separator is an absolute nightmare well it is for me anyway because my toes ping back to where I don't want them to go and then I smear everything off that I've already painted on so these are very handy we've also got a cuticle oil pen can never have enough oil. Nice box as well, that's so pretty. I know I'm a sucker for packaging. Uh, does it say what scent this is? No, just unique revitalising. It's got grapeseed oil, PHA natural keratin, safflower oil, vitamin A, vitamin D, sesame oil, vitamin B5, vitamin E. Yeah. Yeah, just off. Oh, that jazz. So I'm going to wind it up because I really want to see what it smells like and what the consistency is like. Oh, <laughs> too farfy. It feels nice. It's got a thickness to it so that you know it's on the nail. But I don't feel it that it's not going to soak in. I don't think it's going to like lie on the, the skin. It will soak in. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, I don't know what that reminds me. But it's really nice. So that will be going in my stand because I will definitely be using that. We've also got gel cleanser sashes. Now, I usually use alcohol. Um, I have done for as long as I can remember. But I would definitely be interested in trying these. Um... So you'll maybe see these on another video just shortly. Because this is really just the unboxing of the the kit. Um, I don't think this will be the review. So I'm interested to try these. And also these. I've never used these. I usually do the, the, the cotton balls and the, you know, the spring clips. I usually use them for taking off. But I'm definitely happy to give these a go because I've seen people use them and like them and I want to try them I feel like I'm missing out on something so the next time I am going to take um, gels or whatever off my nails I'm going to try these um, and see what they're like so you get two packets of them and that's everything that comes in that wee, wee kit so I'm going to put this away and clear up a bit and get the lamp out and we'll have a wee look at that okay guys on to the lamp now I'm a bit confused because here it says 36 watt, right? But if you flip the box round, it says 24 watt. Now it doesn't have a tick in this one because the other side has a tick. So I'm guessing that it's a 36 watt lamp. That makes sense to me. But let's get it out and have a wee look. Oh, sorry. I'll try not to knock you out in the process. And I'm pretty sure it's a UV connection. Right, let's see. And I'm going to just chuck the box for the time being. Okay, I'm going to move this out the road till I see what all this is. Alright, let me see. If you are willing to be our VIP, click the link below and you will get these. Ooh. Now that looks nice. Not satisfied if you make any questions about your items, please contact us. See, that's good. I like, th I like that people, companies are including after service emails now or numbers because sometimes with these these things you, you don't get the after service. What is this? Just a warning of it. Oh no, that's how to um, 
put the gel on your nails. Prep steps. So all the things that you've just got. See, she's using that round the side. I thought you just used it at the bottom. See, you learn something new every day. Um, so yeah, so it's got all your, your prep steps with all the stuff that we've just looked at in the kit. So here's what you get. Obviously we've just been through all that and that. So you, it is a 36 watt lamp. It says so here. Can you see that? So you also get six colour gels, a base coat and a top coat. And that's what we're going to be putting on my fingers today. Um, see how they go on and such like question and answers. See that's good too because sometimes if you've got a question if you haven't got access to the internet these are the basic questions and nine times out of ten one of these ones will be the answer that you need. So I like that very much. Usually I just say that stuff's a bump but the stuff isn't it. It's actually useful. User's manual for the lamp. So let's take the stuff out here now. The way it's packaged, I don't know, zoom you back out again. The way it's packaged, you've got your gels inside the bag along with the lamp. So I'm going to get all those out. Here's your connection. I actually forgot that this was going to be a UV lamp and I unplugged my other lamp so that I would have a socket. Oops. But no matter. I'm going to have a look at this lamp before we, we plug it in anyway because I want to have a look around it. Okay. You straight away um, and notice the position of the, the LEDs. I think it's great that they're coming all the way around. This will be your sensor so that when you put your hand in, it will come on and when you take your hand out, it will go off, which is fab. Um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 18 LEDs, which to be fair, for this size of lamp, is going to be fine because your hand's not going to be splayed out too far underneath this. There's no base to this lamp, so it'd be great for um, doing toes. I had no idea what I wanted to say there. Yeah, it'd be great to get your foot in if you want to do your toes. I think it would be handy if the LEDs came up a wee bit further, but we'll see how well it works. So on the top, you've got a 30 second button, a 60 seconds button, and a 90 seconds button. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be like the half heat, you know, the half power to help stop the heat spikes. And you've also got an LED screen here. So I'm going to hook this up to a USB port and I'll be back. Okay, I'm not sure how well you're going to pick that up because of my lights, but... Sorry, that's just my cat knocking things in the windowsill. Hence so why I have those mini candles and not real ones. Okay, so here's the LED. So put your hand in, the lamp comes on, as you can see, the lovely blue light. Um, it automatically counts down so you know how long you've got to go. I like that because I'm a very impatient person. I just want things to be done and over and dusted. So I like this so I know how long I've got to go. Now I'm assuming if you press it again, it'll stop. Yeah, then it just goes back to normal. So I'm going to put my hand in and see how long it takes. If you just put your hand in, I don't know if I'll count up a minute. Oh, sorry, 99 seconds. Okay, so... That will be handy as well for flash curing because there isn't a button for 10 seconds. Um, so for flash curing, just stick in your hand and you can see when you've counted down 5 seconds and your flash cured and bring your hand back out the lamp. Okay, I want to have a look at these gel colours. I'm very excited for them. So I'm going to move the lamp out the way just now and bring these gels over. As I say, there's 6 colours and a basin top coat. So here is your basin top quite like those swans. Now let's see the consistency of the base coat first. It's quite a thin consistency, which I quite like for a base coat because I think if you bulk up on a base coat, sometimes it doesn't leave an awful lot of room for keeping the nails slim when you're doing your, your colour. Do you see what I mean with these nails? Um, I've got quite a thick base coat on these and it does raise it up off the nail a fair wee bit. The top coat, however, I prefer a slightly thicker top coat. Not thick, but slightly thicker than the base coat. 
No, I'd say that's about the same consistency as the base coat. But we'll see when we try them on the nails. Because I am going to do at least one nail on camera to see what it's like. Okay, are we ready for this, people? This is... Oh, I forgot to say, look, it's La Cheer. At least I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Or it could be L.A. Cheer. But I would say La Cheer. And I really like the bottles. Those swans are so pretty and so well thought out. Very creative indeed. Oh. It's a grey. Oh. Obviously I'll be swatching these. But at the moment I'm just showing you them. This is 9066. And it's a lovely baby pink. It's actually quite a nude pink, I think. It would be quite nude on my nails anyway. I think I've got a very pink nail bed. That could just be because of the damage I've done to my nails over the years because I was very silly and didn't follow instructions. This is 9098. <gasps> oh! Look! Oh! Sparkly! Yeah, I like that one. I don't know if any of these are colour trained actually. Let me just... No, they're solid gels. So there's none of them colour trained. <laughs> they're very beautiful. This is 9081. That's going to look kind of grey on camera, I think, but it's not. It's like a olive khaki green. It's lovely. I'm trying to get up to the light so you're going to see the true colour. Yeah, I like that. That may well be the one that I put on for a demo. Very nice. Then we have... Sorry, I'm just watching my cat chasing bits of fluff about the floor. 9079. It's very similar. Very, very similar. If I'm completely honest, I can't see a lot of difference. But there again, I didn't see the difference between the pinks and the other set that I tested out from Amy Lee, so it could just be that I'm not picking it up. But we'll see when we swatch it. Definitely a different colour, 9079, yeah, definitely a different number anyway. Oh, we've got another glitter. It's not as packed full as the other one. It's more of a scattered glitter, but it's holographic, which is always a bonus. Can't have enough hollow in your life. I'm sure Christine would agree. Yeah, I quite like that. I don't know if you're going to pick any of that up. It's really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to decide what I'm going to put on my nails and I'm going to do maybe even a couple on camera um, and see what they're, they're like. I'll be right back. Does anybody else tap to see how sticky the base coat is? Yeah, that's really tacky. That'll be good for glitters and you know, like if you're putting, um, that'll probably be good for a foil bit as well actually. But the, the decals, I think that'll be good for. So, let's fasten this before I spill it. And we're going to do two layers of this grey. It's such a nice colour. I don't think it's shown up as, as nice on camera as what it is in real life. Okay, and now we're going to go with the top coat. Now my nails are all bumpy. 
and uneven so I'm going to try and even this nail out with the top coat. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so the top coat's had a minute. It's a non-wipe. Let me get... It's fully cured, it's not denting. Feels smooth enough. Oh, and the top coat and the base coat don't smell anything like the actual polishes. Um, they've got very little smell to them. But what I did just discover about the lamp is obviously I've been curing the colour coats for 30 seconds each and when remember when we put our hand in it first and we didn't set a time and it went to 99 seconds? Well I don't know if I'll do it with this. Let me see, I don't know. Um, but when I put my hand back in to cure the top coat it automatically went to 30 seconds. So it remembers the last setting you used and it uses it. Yeah, see? 30 seconds instead of the 99. So I'm assuming that if you stop that and you put it on for 60 seconds, see? And then we'll come out of that if you put your hand back in. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, it does that with the 30 seconds. I don't know if it only remembers 30 or if it'll do it with other ones when you do a full cure. So, thoughts. I'll be right back with thoughts. Okay, let's start with the gels. I like them. The smell could maybe be a bit off-putting for me. I'm not going to lie. These are really quite strong smelling. Um, I love the base and the top coat. So, I think I would reach for these. And even though these colours are gorgeous, I think I've got other gels that I would probably reach for first. But if I wanted these colours, I would happily use them. I don't dislike the gels. I just think that because of the amount I've got, obviously it's a nail channel. I've got lots of gels. And I think these ones probably won't get reached for as much as some of the other ones I've got. But they're lovely. They're nice. I mean, it's a gorgeous colour. Um, you'll see the swatches at the end when I'm finished doing that, like my summing up. Um, but I think they're lovely. It's cured well and it looks nice and shiny so these I do think they're worth the money definitely worth buying I'm not going to go through every single item that came in the kit and um, I'm just using this because it's out I really really like the cleanser I love the cleanser it makes my nails dehydrated enough but they're not turning super white and the smell it, it just smells so so nice um, so yeah, I'll definitely be keeping these in my my unit for working through. The only thing I think I won't use is that cuticle hook thing. Um, everything else is going to get used. I've put them away because I keep, if I've got things in rotation, I don't like to keep things out. So those are put in my train case for to come up in rotation. But um, I think I'll use everything except that hook thing. So that is well worth it for me. Um, just for that as a full kit on its own, without the gels and without the lamp, that is a full nail prep kit. So that's pretty good going. Now, the lamp. I like this lamp. Obviously you can't see the LED as well as I can, but it is very clear. In real life it's very clear. You can see it. There's no issues with seeing it. It's very light. Maybe to the point where it feels quite Mm, not unsafe but like if you dropped it it would break but I like the fact that it's not a heavy huge massive thing sitting on your desk and I really like the memory thing that's going to be really handy um, see if you haven't pressed the button constantly the only thing I'm not so keen on is the fact that the lights are only around the edges and there's none along the top bit. That's the only thing I don't like about this lamp. 
um, the rest of it, it's really good but it's not that it's been a problem curing I think I'm just spoiled with my old lamp because there's LEDs coming all the way around here so I kind of feel like that's the standard but this has cured that no problem and when I do the rest of my nails I will update and let you know if it cures okay as well which I think it will I don't think there will be any problems because let's face it the, the lights are in a good position to catch all your nails so I'm not worried about that that's just my personal gripe because I like a lot of lights I like shiny things okay guys final thoughts on this kit I think it's great um, the lamp cures perfectly I love the LED display um, I love that it's so light and portable the kit that you get the actual nail prep kit I think that's fantastic there's everything there you could possibly need to prep your nails and by the time you get your gels and your lamp into the set you literally would need nothing else to do gel nails nothing so yeah, I think it's it's well worth the money. The colours, as you can see, the greens are totally different. It was just the way they were looking in the light. The colours are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I've put this on my hand because I really like it, this grey one. So that's going to stay there for a wee while. Um, these cleansers, I really love the smell. <laughs> I know I keep going on about the smell, but it's it's lovely, I really like it and I will test out the remover pad things and update on Instagram at some point but I would definitely say if you're a beginner or even if you're not a beginner and you're just looking to top up your, your colour collection this kit is definitely worth the purchase it's £26.99 on Amazon that's in pounds Um. And I think it's free delivery, so you're literally paying less than £27 to have a complete kit to do gel nails. Um, I'm so impressed by this. And I know this sounds silly, but I'm actually in love with how soft and fluffy this brush is. <laughs> I really like it. And it's it's good files you get. It's, it's not like it's cheap rubbish. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I'm going to go into Amazon and leave a review on there about how much I like this because it's very impressive so thank you very much for joining me and watching I hope this was useful for you in some way shape or form um, I will see you in the next one bye bye